So we're inside the Metro Food Land in Rosedale Park, the Rosedale Park neighborhood of Detroit, here with uh, Mr. James Hooks, the owner of Metro Food Land, and also Ade from the AFPD, if I got that correctly. Yes, that's right. right. So tell me today, you've got two big announcements. One was the uh, announcement of your turkey drive, 31 years, the last 31 years you've been giving away turkeys. Tell me, Ade, why is that important? Uh, why is that an initiative that you've got in the first place, and why is it important? Sure. Uh, well, our organization started in 1910, over 101 years old, and we started in Detroit. So even though we have members, thousands of members throughout the state, our heart and our pulse is still the city of Detroit. So uh, as you mentioned before, 31 years ago, our association put together their first turkey drive with Mother Waddles. At that time, we gave out 25 turkeys. 31 years later now, we're giving out 5,100 turkeys biggest turkey drive to our knowledge in the state of Michigan um, and it's independence coming together to really show people the power of independence that they exist all over the place and yes even in Detroit even though some people might say there's nowhere to shop we we get, would like to prove them wrong well and the other thing that you talked about today was the creation of a map that uh, AFPD did to show that there are, what, 86 grocery, full-service grocery stores in the city of Detroit. Right. Mr. Hooks, why is that important? Why is that type of announcement important for your store in particular? Well, recently, over the last few years, we've been hearing the term food desert, and really it's um, all, of, all of the independent operators, retail grocery stores operators, we, 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 we take offense to that. We've been providing fresh groceries to this community for, for, for ever since the early 60s. And um, we just, we just, we don't like the idea that, you know, um, it's, if you're not a chain store, you're not a legitimate grocery provider for the community. And I'm sure you've walked around this store. I mean, it's nothing, it's no desert, is it? No. And, and many other operators have run great stores, and we've been doing this for a long time. And we just want we want to be appreciated by you know the people who claim that Detroit's a food desert. And what, one of the arguments that I have heard around the food desert idea is, okay, maybe there are a lot of grocery stores in the city, but they're not really serving what the community wants, or they're really not serving what the community needs. What do you say to that type of, or what kind of response do you have to that type of, I guess, vitriol about uh, sure. the city, or about the stores? Well, you know, the first thing, and one of the reasons actually we decided to put the map together, also I want to add, is um, being new from Southern California, and if you just read the, the, the regular mainstream media, you would think that, you know, there's nothing in, happening in Detroit. So when I first came here and I took a drive around with some people and they showed me, you know, all the different stores and everything, I said, wow, look at this. But I, we kept on hearing about the lack of access to fresh fruits and vegetables, the lack of access to, to perishables. And so finally we said, you know what, the state hasn't put this together, the city has not put it together, the Department of Ag hasn't put it together, let's put together a map. In terms of the, the types of stores that are on there, um, I want to remind everybody that, you know, the, the Farmer, Jack, Farmer Jacks, when they were in the city and they left, their buildings aren't empty today. Independence came in and reinvested in the city when the chains ran out. Um, and these other folks, when the, you know, the Super K experiment happened and some of the other stores left, like Kroger. You know, Jim started, uh, you know, long, long ago. You know, he's a young guy, but he started long, long ago as a, as a bagger at a Kroger. Exactly. 42 and ended years up, ago. ended up buying uh, a Kroger. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when these people left town, there were people that cared enough about the city and the people to actually reinvest and stay. And, and so that's why it really is a slap in the face a lot of times when people talk about food desert or access. Believe it or not, you may hear the headlines about maybe a Meyer coming in or a Whole Foods or whatever, but every time a new supermarket opens up in Detroit, and we've had three or four of them the last year or so, you don't hear it. You know, when Jim gives credit to a customer because they're short on, on a bill or they're in between checks, but he knows the family's been here for a long time and they need to eat, he doesn't do it just to say, hey, look what I'm doing for the community. He does it because he cares. Now, Mr. Hooks, finally, just what do you have planned next for your market? I mean, you've been in the community now for 27 years. What's next for you here? Well, right now we're in the middle of our, um, we created a rewards program. And we reward our customers for eating healthy, um, 
items. We're buying healthy, eating healthy. Um, when, you, when most customers first sign up, and when they look to see how much they've received on the bottom of their bill, if they haven't received anything, we notice that they say, oh, well, I guess I didn't buy anything healthy, which is what we want. We want to have be an awareness so they can start um, paying attention to what they eat because there's definitely a need for that kind of uh, uh, marketing, and we're just trying to do what we can for our customers.